how to use the external modules or any module that matters in your lazy reloaded component. The best example will be the common module. From there, you can use a structural detective like ng if, ng for, ng switch. So we're going to see in this video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. You may have faced a problem while lazily loading a component in Angular 9 by seeing my videos that the structural directives are not working. One issue is also raised in the repository that uh, the structural directive like ngif is not working and we are getting a, a warning that uh, the ngif is not a part of uh, any component div or p. So then I realized that I forgot to mention here how we wanna use the external modules so uh, so for that i'm making the video and it is pretty simple so if you want to import a module then you need a ng module and it's not like you have to import in add the component the declaration of an app component like sorry app module so it's it will be same and it will be lazy loaded the module itself means the component and is combined with a module and by the way, if you don't know how to lazy load a component in Angular 9 and what the all the steps are there, then this video will not make much sense to you. So please go and watch that video. I will link in the card, then come back here, then continue from here. So I was talking about the uh, importing a module in the ng models. I will demonstrate you the problem also. So I will just create a flag and that is that will be a boolean and it will be true now we'll go to the html and i will just add so now if i want to start the application then in the common scenario it should render the thing but you will see that this will not render and will get a warning that i will just show you now let it build okay now it's finished so we'll go to the browser and i will try to open the console here and when I will refresh and when I hit load, you will see that we got that can't bind the ng if since it's not a known property to p and that value hasn't been displayed. It's not like you are giving true or false. If you if you give false here also, you are you will, you will going to get the same warning because it's not there. And I'll first explain the solution, then I will let you know why this is happening. Okay, so in the same file, we just need to add ng module. To add ng module, we need a class, but you don't need to export the class. Okay, so you can write you know that your ng module has a declaration that's a that will accept an array and you have the import. And we need we mainly need the imports here and the if you go for the directive that come from ng if directive or ng for directive that will come from the common module. So to use this module in our component, we need to declare the component here. That is our lazy component A. And for our for this case, we need the common module. If you hover on the common module, you will get that basic angular directives like ng if ng for this uh, will be implement if this is implemented through common module now if i save the thing here now if i go to the hit load you will see we haven't got the data and we also haven't got the record because i just give a false here okay now if i just change that to flag and, and i hit load we got the data as it is and it's working as it is now you will say, okay, you have declared the component. Now it's, it will not be lazy loaded. Now that's, that I just want to show you here. Now I just uh, refresh the thing. Now when you hit the thing with the load, then all the things are lazy loaded. Now we'll discuss why this is happening. And you can ask me, okay, so but this, the uh, service was working. You can in inject service and it will work fine without uh, any problem. And you are able to access the data. But why not the common module or why not the directives or why not the any external modules which is imported in the ng module means the app module. So how lazy loaded work is your JavaScript is built 
and it pushed to the page means pushed to the angular context so if i i want i will show you here just keep an eye on the console i will make it bigger but okay so i will just go to the uh, this component ages then what we'll do is we'll try to search you can see that all our data is pre render javascript render means pre-generated javascript and that is inserted to the angular context if i will go here you will see that our string you you are watching then our serve what we are fetching from the services then our again the string here and the same thing you can find it here this is injected to the module suppose think like you you when you are creating this uh, this javascript file that file will not have any context of the common module that is here so in the previous case we didn't have anything about common modules so while creating the javascript from this angular constructed code your angular compiler or the iv compiler don't know yet what is ng if if you don't give the common module because it's not there so that's why we were not able to see the result and we got the warning in the previous case now you can ask me okay suppose you thus this context is got created now again now if you do some changes in ng if will that work and yes that will work because it is injected to angular already so now it's in angular context now uh, it's like thing like it is a normal component which is now injected in, inside angular now you have access to all the all the variable all the modules all the services and that will work as it is so this is how you can use external modules or uh, any module that matter in angular component and i want to tell you one more thing that if you are using web component in your application and you have provided a schema here that is custom element schema already in the ng app app modules then you have to do that here as well like i'm doing it here so you, i'll just write a schema and that is custom element schema so the reason is the same as the common module we are using like the like i print for the ng if while the iv will generate the javascript file this will find your tag or the web component who tag we are you are using that is not in the angular context and it will see you haven't provided a schema so you will going to see an error like we saw for the ng if so that's it for today guys today we saw how to use a module or external module or how to give a custom element schema in your uh, lazily loaded component so that you can inject it properly to your uh, angular context so you can use your structural directives like ng if ng for or any other modules that matters please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified whenever i will put a video and please share this video among your friends family colleague and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below we're going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye